Hey guys, it's Happy Green Cow here. Um, I decided to make a few videos for Might and Magic Elemental Guardians because there didn't seem to be any out or any, and I felt like a lot of people in the community were asking a whole bunch of questions where they could probably watch a YouTube video or five and get a whole bunch of answers. It would be a lot easier for them rather than spamming a whole bunch of weird questions and getting possibly some weird answers. So, my background is that uh, I've got multiple accounts. Um, this is one which I made free to play. Um, my main account is a lot older, been playing for a fair while. Um, I've been able to complete TOT uh, without too much of an issue. Um, PvP is not so much of an issue as well unless you're at the very, very top ranking. Um, so, I'm relatively qualified in terms of how far I am into the game, I suppose. Um, the end game is a lot more different to the level up game. Um, you know, the level, the level up game is all about using your energy, um, leveling up a bunch of guys, a, a good core team to get to Glyph 10 and go from there. But I mean, even getting to Glyph 10 is a bit of a hassle, so you kind of get stalled at a, ver at a variety of um, glyph stages, like 4, 5, and 7-8. Uh, but main accounts, doing glyph 10s without an issue, TOTs without an issue, PVPs without an issue. Um, the end game in this game is pretty much just farming glyph 10s non-stop and trying to get the quickest runes you can, oh sorry, glyphs you can, and go from there. Um, so, the purpose of this video is to give people some tips on how to level up. So, what's good in leveling up? How to how to make the most of your energy? Um, where to get it from? Are you pay to play, free to play? Whatever you're doing, this will probably help you, especially if you're free to play. So, a bit of background on this account. This account is completely free to play. Um, didn't even buy the beginners packs, even though I really wanted to. Um, I'd probably advise people to get them if they pop up on the kind of bottom right here, wherever they um, pop up the special deals. Uh, those packs are such good value, and you don't really get many of them in the game, so they're really good if you can spare like the little bit of money. It's pretty, pretty good to get those. Um, cool. Okay, let's dive into it. So, the main thing about leveling up accounts is energy expenditure. Um, you don't want to use seals on energy <laughs> um, early on because you really want to buy nine packs of uh, where are they? These guys. You really want to buy the epic soul stones because you want to try and get a nat four or a nat three, which is really good and will help you progress further in the game a lot quicker. Um, and pretty much getting nat fours and nat five. Oh, sorry, nat fours and nat threes that are relevant will speed up your leveling process and just get you to the end game a lot quicker. So try not to use seals on energy when you don't need to. Um, because you really want to try to get those nine packs. Okay, so if you're not using seals on energy, how are you getting energy? Uh, till level 27, so I haven't spent any seals on energy, all I've done is pretty much use mission rewards and so your daily missions that you do give you 15, 15 and a bunch of seals as well which is pretty neat. Um, they'll also push you over the over to a level. Um, when they push you over to a level it'll give you a, a full energy refill. So essentially you want to make sure your energy is always depleted before you level up. So best tip of the day, probably what you want to do when you wake up in the morning is go do all of these missions. Don't hand them in, just do all of them. So, fight the arena, summon chest potions, uh, upgrade glyphs, literally just all of these. Do them, the daily missions. Um, and hopefully you should have no energy by the end of that. Um, if you still do have energy, then just jump into whatever scenario you're farming or whatever glyphs you want to try and aim for. Um, use up all your energy. Once you're finished, um, start handing them in until you level up. When you level up, stop handing them in, and 
go use your energy. You will have a full bar of energy no matter what level you are, um, except for level 50, and use it. Go crazy, jump into whether you're finding scenarios or glyphs or elements, whatever. Go use them, make the most of them. Probably if you're lower level, so this is for people leveling up, then you want to use them to level up a whole bunch of fodder or, you know, creatures that you're leveling up. And go from there. So that, that'll give you a full bar of energy. It's pretty sweet. Uh, tip number two for energy, when... When you go through the scenario stages, um, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of quests that give 15 or 10 energy, or yeah, I think that's about it, 15s or 10s. Um, so this one's literally like, you know, kill 50 Furies, kill 50 Harpies, yada yada yada. Um, they're neat because you can go ahead and grind the floating islands. I'm gr grinding the floating islands at the moment because I need um, those vitality runes, oh, sorry, uh, vitality glyphs, and I'm grinding those stages anyway, so what I'll do is I'll just keep an eye out for stages that have Harpies, Arcane Eagles, or Furies, and grind them a little bit more so I can get these rewards as well as the glyphs I need. Um, afterwards, you hand them in. These are kind of like a little um, side bonus. Um, funny enough, the most useful thing about completing these isn't actually these good keys, it's these uh, bad keys. <laughs> And and that chest, and the small chest, uh, which I'll get to in a bit, but I'll tell you why later on. Um, but the good part of doing these quests is, you know, kill 50 Furies, 15, gives you energy, pretty sweet. Um, they're all pretty similar. Where's, I swear I saw some that were 10. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, so they're mainly 15s then, till... I'd recommend doing them to probably till 50, depending on how much energy you have to spare, really. Um, doing these consecutive wins is pretty good. It gives you awesome rewards, just do them. Um, essentially, doing any missions is all, always good. Just keep an eye on them, because you might just randomly miss some as you naturally progress through the game. So you can always go back and grab a few more. So I've missed a few here, I'll probably go grab some Philly calls later on just for 15 energy. Um, yeah, so you keep going, you get a few cool rewards everywhere. Wow, I'd need to do something city small. I'm missing a whole... Oh, okay, those are the twos and the threes. Yeah, so achievements, always worth it. Do them. They're a good source of um, good source of energy on top of the, um, the daily missions. Uh, cool, so now back to the other free source of energy. Um, so when I was going through the missions, I pointed out that these small keys, the minor keys and those small chests, were really good. Now the reason behind this is because when you open them up, they have a chance of giving you a small amount of energy. So usually they give you, I think it's 10 or 15, um, possibly 20. Let's open on couples to see what they give us. Here you go, 10. Cool. So. It happens pretty frequently. I opened like, up like 10 in a row the other day, and I don't know, I got maybe 30 or 40 energy out of it. I was pretty happy. It gives you it gives you pretty much like a refill if you open up a whole bunch of chests. Um, just make sure that you have enough keys for your daily mission at the end of the day, um, for the next day. So, you know, I can open this and I know that I'm going to get the the daily recharge. Where is it? You get a free, um, doesn't actually say. Oh, there it is, free chest. Yeah, you get a free chest every eight hours. So, you know, I'm not going to play it again for another, I don't know, maybe 12 hours or so. So, it's good to use that before I jump off. Um, cool. So, chests, hoard them. Hoard them like crazy and use them when you're low on energy because when you use a chest, it goes straight to your energy pool. It doesn't go to your inbox like achievements do. When you go through, oops, it is easy. When you go through achievements, and say you claim, say you claim this one, it'll go straight to your inbox, so you can actually use it later on, um, which is pretty cool. It's neat. They they have an expiry date. It's they're, they're like five days. Um, I think. Oh, okay, daily missions are five days, and it, and the actual achievements are ninety-seven days or ninety-nine days, or whatever it is. 
So yeah, so they do have an expiry, but just make sure you use them. Um, as long as you play a few times a week, you'll be fine. So cool, that covers achievements. That covers uh, the scenario achievements as well. So we've got the daily achievements, oh, daily missions, um, the actual achievements, which are great sources. Uh, it also covers chests, which I guess not many people think about, but they're really good. I had like 800 before I've been grinding away. Um, what else do we have? That should be pretty much it. Um, just keep in mind the, the trick about leveling up. As soon as you see yourself almost at the top of um, top of your level, um, hand, in a, hand in a quest or two, or five or however many you need to, till you level up. Um, I'd say hoard hoard achievements, completed achievements, don't hand them in until you're almost at max level because that would be um, the best time to actually use them. So say I was level 5 and I was all the way up there and I was about to level, um, I'd go ahead and use all of my energy first and then so say I was like really at the tip top just about to level rather than waiting, you know, um, 15, 20 minutes for my energy to reload so I can do one more dungeon to tip me over, I would just go ahead and hand in like this quest. Um, not that one because it's 9,000. At level 5 that might be a bit too much, but like, you know, if you hand in one of these small ones, it'll definitely tip you over to level 6, and then you'll get a full hour of energy, and you can go ahead and farm a whole bunch as well, and um, you can start the process again. So that's, those are pretty much the best ways that I can think of um, to get energy and use energy, um, should be pretty much it. Uh, my name's Green Cow, happy Green Cow, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks.